Zones right now, we're going to see a couple players near the outskirts of these gold zones running in and around trying to get as much loot as possible. As is tradition, we are following GG's Shaws. We're going to flip right back over to AOW Mike taking a huge hit from the staff. Staff is one of the dangerous weapons right now. In this meta, staff is just so hard to fight against. The parry timing, the ability to be able to just absolutely mince the health from the teammate as we're seeing from the slam here into the scale rush. JDG's Chu Zhang here making an incredible play, trying to go for the uppercut, but AOW Mike knows how to get out there. The ankle breaker with the dagger. Getting the armor swap back onto blue armor as well is going to be super helpful for him. He does open up another blue armor ready for a swap if needed. And we're going to see Yiran still giving chase onto AOW Mike as Chu Zhang did end up picking up some purple armor as well into this fight. Mike not wanting any piece of Yiran right now. Looks like he's going to try and go for some charge, holding that neutral area and he's able to get that charged LMB off on to Yiran. Yiran's going to back off right now as we're going to see some pistol shots come out. Mike taking a decent amount of damage here. He is going to try and run around. He knows where that armor is. It looks like he is trying to go for that armor swap. He does get it right away. Trying to go for that heals. We're going to flip over WBG Spider already with purple nunchucks. Trying to fight against Shang Yu. There is a third party in here as it is J-Team's action trying to come around and fight with those dual blades as well. And he's going to get the 1-2 off. The F3 gets popped from WBG Spider. Tries to make his way out of that area he doesn't want to get hit by j team's action and get cornered up because when you once you get cornered up by those dual blades it's going to be very difficult for you to be able to actually make a play as we're going to flip over aow's mike getting his full health back with justina here on that f freeze here he's going to be able to get that armor back and reset into this fight as he runs still trying to come on strong with the great katana dealing a lot of damage to mike mike trying to go for that heart charge get that hyper armor lets the 1.0 go and ends up getting grappled into he ran almost hitting that combo off here as we're going to see him go for the one two switching to the musket here and aow mike with a huge parry coming through we're going to see the ultimate pop out from he ran mike already got that cooldown gets one heal off but the back slash the backstab is going to be super detrimental here as we're going to see the charge come off it is a little bit harder to see the charge almost gets that combo off and it looks like mike is going to bring the combo the other way here and mike even in the ult yira not able to take out mike as we're going to see the huge third party from the assassin's ledge coming from feng mike getting super low here feng trying to give chase with that gray dagger in hand we're going to see the armor swap coming from mike mike able to get a charge 1.0 off on to feng feng looks like he's going to take the reset here pretty quickly aow's mike also able to get that full armor swap reset set here and it looks like he's going to try and re-enter the fight or just keep his distance so that he doesn't have to re-engage with KLA's Fang right quickly as we're going to see Spider getting dangerously low here. Pops the F3. J-Team's action is just giving chase with these dual blades here. He's able to get him once. Tries to get him a second time here. He is going to fall. We're going to see Spider go for that armor swap onto the gray armor. Bringing it back around and turning the tables on this fight. He gets the charge to LMB. We're going to see the ult get popped from action here. He needs to get out of this zone because we're seeing the third party from OC Xiang Yu come through as JT's action doing a great job of tracking WBG Spider. Spider trying to go for the pot. He's not able to get it. The cooldown on the F3 was able to save him there, though he did have that combo breaker, and it looks like he is going to try and go for a heal, but he is getting spotted by Xiang Yu. Doesn't get the heal off. Spider able to get another charge LMB off, but he is getting dangerously low. Goes up into the sky here. Still has eight seconds left in his cooldown. He is going to be able to get one pot off. Tries to go for the second one here. He does know exactly where both of these players are. Back at full grade armor is at a bit of a disadvantage with the gray armor instead of the blue as we're going to see Baudas Wangfly also joining into the fight. Yeah, taking a look here, this is turning into quite the cluster. So many third parties coming through. Exion going to armor swap into a white here just to keep himself healed up. Not an ideal situation for Exion as he burned his ultimate there but wasn't able to lock down Spider. Speaking of which, Spider coming back with a little bit of payback here onto J-Team's Exion is able to just come in clean and just completely blitz through the HP bar there on Exion, pick up the elimination. Zhang Yu caught out by those same nunchucks right now and Spider with full meter has got quite a few options available to him. He can use that trigger if he needs to to take control of the neutral. Hong Fly coming through though, doing quite a bit of damage. It gets caught in the bubble but keeps the chase up. Spider with the ultimate though in a much better situation than he was before while he was being chased by action. Just trying to keep things alive here using that dagger for the movement. He's got the nunchucks and the dagger both in the back pocket there waiting to swap at a moment's notice so he can keep things alive. He can get those scale rushes off. He's going to come down now and look to 
pressure on OC Zhang Yu. Catches Zhang Yu into the uppercut with those nunchucks. A favored combo of WBG Spider here. Huang Fly going to catch him in the charge. Left click of the data. Spider just using those bubbles to create the distance. Goes for the pop, but Huang Fly going to come through the window on the top side. Catches Spider and does a ton of damage here. Spider trying to go top side. Wants to use that zone to his advantage. Wants to use this building while he can. He tries to get a pot off here. Will find an armor pot off, but now Zhang Yu's got him locked down in the zone. Using that staff, takes control of the neutral. Tries to get chased. Walks into the bubble, but Huang Fai able to find the uppercut. There it is. He's going to pick up the elimination. On to WBG Spider. OC Zhang Yu with the uppercut. Walks into yet another bubble. This time from Huang Fai. Huang Fai keeping the action going here. Needs to back away though. WBG Spider actually reses into the zone. Wants to come back to his body and find all of that loot that he had. This is a risky play from WBG Spider. J Team's action. Wong Fly and Zhang Yu all waiting in the wings. And Spider can't stay in that zone too long. We're going to see J Team's action come back and finally find an elimination here as he picks one up on about us. Wong Fly. And there we go. We're going to see Zhang Yu into the zone. No armor. Extremely low. We're going to see a quick teleport. Coming in from Zhang Yu, Action continuing the chase though, does not want to give this up. Goes up, sees the TP, comes out. Needs to be careful though, because Zhang Yu is long gone and he can teleport a long distance back here. There's not really any hope of J Team Action being able to catch up to Zhang Yu at this point. Zhang Yu, though, that timer on the teleport back, gonna be gone as we head into our realm of Yang. We're gonna see T225 going head to head with Wolves Kai Bao. That initial sequence where Spider was just completely taking control of the fight. And I wanted to mention, he's using V1 in this meta. V1 Valda is was questionable in solos at first, but now the V2 was just such a better option. Most people didn't use the V1. He's the only person who's been using v, who's gonna be using V1 this game. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how he's gonna be able to beat the other Valdas using his ultimate. I don't know if it was a misclick or something, but using V1, I, I can't wait to see what strategy is gonna come up with here. As we see two Tarkas in their ults, both slamming and hitting each other with those people's elbow. And it looks like Kai Bao is taking a lot of damage. And GS is T225 coming through and able to snake the kill out from underneath Wolf's Kai Bao. Able to take him down. He's gonna get that Vermilion's Bird Mife and then he gets a golden staff. Absolute powerhouse coming through. If T225 keeps up this pressure, he's going to be going crazy throughout the rest of this game. Yeah, huge gains here for T225 as he's able to get the purple arm and that golden staff. And unfortunately for Wolves came out, he just couldn't take control of the neutral. Both of them popped their ultimate and whoever was able to take control of the neutral the last time there was just gonna win that fight. Unfortunately, Wolves Kai Mao was forced to pop his F before we saw T225 have to pop his F in that. And that is a death sentence in the Tarka v Tarka matchup. Yo, Wang Liang though, able to avoid most of those bubbles as he's able to come through and put huge damage onto Wong Fly. He does eat a bubble at the very end, but Wong Fly not able to capitalize it. Wang Liang able to get a parry. We're gonna see the ult come through here from Wong Fly as he tries to come in and lock down uh, Wang Liang. Wang Liang tries to use the F1 to buy that gold focus, but before he can get it off, we're gonna see Huang Fly catch him out there with the spear, coming back through, looking to lock down Huang Fly while he can. He needs to be careful. He needs to get the setup with the V here before Huang Fly is able to catch him out with the spear. Unfortunately, Huang Fly is gonna have no ultimate here. Kai Bao gonna be heavy chasing this kill here because he needs to pick up that Soul Bloom Essence from this fight to get rid of that Yang depletion very, very quickly. Huang Fly, very, very low. The bubbles come down. Kai Bao forced to go over the bubbles. Huang Fly on the other side. Kai Bao coming in. He needs to get this Soul Bloom. He's got to take control of this. He pops the ult so that he's able to pick it up here. Doesn't regret the decision. That buys him back into the game. And Wang Liang's ult going to run out here. So now Kai Bao able to take control of this fight here versus Wang Liang. He's still got his ultimate running here. He just needs to grab control of that neutral one more time here into Wang Liang. Wang Liang just trying to keep it moving. We're going to see the jump right click connect, but we're going to see Wang Liang in the blue focus only take the damage, not the hit stun. So he's still going to keep it moving here. Kai Bao just needs a single hit here 
to lock this down and Wang Liang doing everything he can to hold on here with the dagger. We're gonna see them trade F for F. Wang Liang though on fire, no chance to stop and pop a heal here. He is literally down to one tick of HP as we see Kai Bao continue to give chase. Wang Liang has got to find a way to create some distance from this fight so he can get a heal off or that is gonna be it for Wang Liang. The grapple comes through, no range shots coming through from Kai Bao here, but he will find the grapple into the left click, and that's going to be another elimination for Wolves' Kai Bao as he sends back Wang Liang to the lobby. Amazing chase from Kai Bao, and sticking with it, the perseverance to come away with that kill, going all range, not all melee, not trying to go for the range shots, just playing it back to the basics and mechanics as we're going to see Yi Ran facing off against Panda Man. Panda Man with the golden longsword right now. He also has that Vermilion's Bird Might. He doesn't want Yiran to get the heal off, but it looks like he's going to be able to go for the heal. The overhold, the double charge on that gold longsword is going to be a lot of damage taken as they're going to clank a couple times midair here. He's trying to go for that combo. He gets the chase off and he, we're going to see him try and go for that full staff combo here. He's sending some pop shots and Yiran's getting super low. He's trying to run away with the staff here but he's unable to escape pandaman pandaman trying to come through and deal just one last hit of damage as ventus's recce has gotten some chase onto the shark and it looks like Iran is going to be able to end up leaving they do still have eyes on him they're trying to follow him around sending some pop shots off with the pistol it looks like OUG's pandaman is going to be able to get the kill here coming through recce able to steal the Soul Blue message from Panda Man here. But it looks like both of these alts are going to get popped here. Reki trying to go for the grab is unable to hit it. Panda Man needs to heal up here. It looks like he's not going to be able to get the pot off. Reki hot on his trail. Still has one grab left. It looks like both of these players are using the exact same alt. Reki trying to go for that slam with the claws is unable to hit it and it looks like Wolves Kai Bao is also going to be entering this fight we're going to see Panda Man coming through with a huge play but it looks like Reki is able to come through with the weapon swap and Panda Man is going to go down to Wolves Kai Bao Kai Bao coming through with the kill steal here as Reki left doing all the work but not reaping the rewards Reki trying to make something happen on this side OC Sangyu able to come away with that golden longsword as KLA's Fang is going to go down to AOW's mic on off camera here as we are going to see the second realm of Yang is beginning to spawn ALW's Mike trying to run away from G225 he's scared of that golden staff and look at how much damage is done all of his shield already gone he finds an armor swap in the middle of nowhere here Mike the little cheeky armor swap from the bush I guess he knew where it was he knew where to hide it looks like he's gonna try and come back around JDG Chujong ending up in the crossfire of this fight Mike is gonna end up using his F getting that little bit of reset getting that shield back so he does not have to re-enter the fight here looks like he's gonna try and go back up dagger v dagger on chu jung here chu jung trying to make something happen with that charged attack he is gonna get the charge lmb off but we are gonna see mike coming back with a quick one too both baiting the charged lmb they are trying to make something happen. JDG Chujong doesn't have Assassin's Buns, but Mike does here, as we are going to see him hit the Assassin's Buns a second time in a row. And it looks like he is forced to pop into the mech here. Chujong dangerously low. Very, very low HP. But Chujong's able to get this pot off. He is going to be able to be a little bit more safe. Ventus' Reki is going to go down to OC Xiang Yu. AOW's Mike worked so hard, almost got the kill. Hit the Assassin's Lunge confirmed twice, but was not able to to end up reaping the rewards of his fight. All this hard work, and that's what keeps on happening here. So we see AOW's Mike popping that F for as long as possible, just so he doesn't have to stay in. Able to tap dodge very nicely out of these shots as he's gonna end up coming out of the mech. Chu Zhang hot on the run. Mike hot in pursuit of seeing Chu Zhang also with the Assassin's Lens here, able to deal a decent amount of damage. Chu Zhang trying to make something happen with the daggers. Mike is switching over to the Katana, and it looks like it was a little bit of a misplay here because Mike is getting dangerously low. Chu Zhang running away. Mike able to get another armor swap. Oh my goodness. He's leaving armors everywhere. Trying to go for the freeze. Mike back in this play. Everybody's going crazy and out here. Oh my goodness. The F coming out from Chu Zhang. Chu Zhang trying to run away now. No shields left. No way to heal them other than pots. Mike getting hit, but he's going to pop that F. He's going to get some shield back. Not letting Chu Zhang heal. Hits two huge Musket shots, pistol shots, sorry. It's a third one here as we're gonna see Chu Zhong trying to run away. The third party of Shang Yu is in the distance. He's gonna get that gray armor swap. Shang Yu now entering onto this fight. We're gonna see him try and pop the pot, but it looks like he's able to almost get the charge off. Trying to flip back over to that pistol. Shu Zhong 
so lucky to be alive right now. AOW Mike almost ending his life for a second time here. Tries to go for the parry, misses it here. He's gonna be able to catch him up there. Doesn't go for the full assassin's life. Mike gonna get hit with it. Noji Sangyu coming in, trying to go for that double charge. And it looks like JDG Shujong getting dangerously low here. The ultimate is gonna get popped, and he's gonna be able to get away again. Shang Yu getting comboing AOW's Mike in the corner. Mike dangerously low now. It looks like Shang Yu's gonna be able to get Mike's gonna go down. Oh, see, Shang Yu picking up the kill, and Xu Zhang able to get away from the brink of death. He is lucky to be alive, and he's gonna come up on Shang Yu again. Hit him with it, but the ult from Shang Yu is coming out too fast, and it looks like they're gonna try and go for a reset, but no, Xu Zhang coming in fast, and now Shang Yu trying to get away for the reset. Oh my god. Oh my god. goodness. Look, AOW Mike sets this fight up so well. He's got multiple purple armors hidden, able to make those armor swaps time and time again, but this is something we talked about before. You can't overcommit to fights during this stage of the game. The longer you fight the heavier the risk of running into a third party is and that's exactly what we see happen to aow's mike he well over commits to the fight he uses every single armor swap he has set up which is quite a few and then because of that he continues the chase to allow chu zhang to get a second ultimate off in that fight finds himself falling victim to a third party. Mike just has nothing left in the tank at that point. He takes a ton of damage as he gets caught off guard by the third party. And then because of that, he's got nothing to follow it up as both of those players just turn their focus onto him because he's so low and it's so unfortunate for AOW's Mike. You could tell how bad he wanted that elimination, but sometimes you have got to let those kills go where exactly what we see happen to AOW's mic there happens every single time. That overcommitment will come back to bite you. Turning now to WBG Spider, going head to head here with the, uh, our boy J Team's action. Action using that F1, and then of course we see the F3 coming out from Spider as well. Both of these players here just trading shots. We see Action head back into the no-old zone. He doesn't really want to take this fight right now. We're in top six, and it's only zone three. The aggression has been absolutely insane here in game number four. These players eliminating people left, right, and center, and Spider in a good place. Wolves, Kai Bao. Once again, having a good game here. Kai Bao really cleaning up so many eliminations early on in this game and he's top six right now he just needs to hold on to his placement here get as high as he can in these final six standings and he's gonna find himself skyrocketing even higher up that leaderboard with this game as he's taking a look here he sees t225 not wanting to overcommit because again it's zone three collapsing onto zone four there is so much time left in this game. Nine minutes and only six players left alive. Kai Bao has no reason to risk over committing to any single fight right now. He's going to see a player here. Look, he just goes and it threatens the space. He's not even hard engaging onto the fight. Kai Bao playing is very, very smart right now. He doesn't need to risk over committing to these fights and finding himself falling victim to a third party when he's got four eliminations and he's top six already wbg spider here one elimination during his belt he needs to put in some work though spider is in a place where he needs to risk it if he wants to walk away the mvp this game and finally find an mvp for the day he needs to pick up quite a few eliminations in a first place finish and the longer the game goes on the less eliminations are going to be available for him unfortunately he misses the scale rush up into the building onto the chase for zhang yu zhang yu just going to hide in the building here and needs to be very careful because this is not his bane's breath that is going down we're going to see wbg spider kind of threatening looks to come in here knows zhang yu's in the corner just letting zhang yu know hey i know where you are don't think you're safe where you're hiding here. The only thing keeping you safe right now is somebody else's Bane's Breath. Uh, or, well, it's not somebody else's Bane's Breath, but just a natural Bane's Breath. So none of these players can really go in and do anything about it. Zhang Yu just more than happy to chill out. Spider with some huge damage on the JDG Chu Zhang. Chu Zhang forced to pop the F here as Spider gives chase. And again, this is what I'm talking about. Spider can't afford to play this game passively. He doesn't have enough eliminations if he wants to walk away the MVP here. He goes very low. Him and Chu Zhang gonna trade range shots here. And this puts Spider in quite 
the bad situation. If one of those Bane's Breath were to drop on top of him here, it would spell absolute disaster for him. But him and Zhu Zhang both going to take the full reset here. Spider going to find the bow shot onto Zhu Zhang. Zhu Zhang going to come in and find some hits here with that dagger and then into the musket shot as well. Both of them going about 50-50. It looks like Zhu Zhang has the armor pierce on that musket there. So a lot of damage going through to Spider's HP bar there. Very, very strong plays from Zhu Zhang. That armor pierce being such a good soul jade uh, here in the NBPL. We've seen that as well as slow shot really coming through for many of these players time and time again. Spider and Chu Zhang still going at it here. Spider catching some huge damage on to Chu Zhang with the staff. Chu Zhang just looking to find a space to get a reset here. So many players waiting in the wings as the zone is collapsing down onto zone five here. It looks like Chu Zhang will be able to find that full reset. Nobody wants to overcommit to a fight at this stage of the game. Well, yeah, you overcommit to a fight, and like you've said it a hundred times before, you become the bait. You become the chum for all of these powerhouse players that you could call sharks in my little analogy metaphor that I've got going on here. As GST225 is absolutely stacked. He's got two gold attack jades. He's got another gold jade, a couple purple jades, some gold weapons, some purple weapons, some gold armor, full alt, and OC Xiang Yu with that gold jade for the staff. This is going to be one that's going to be super crucial because if you get caught in that gold focus, there's no parrying that. You're done. You're going to get hit with a lot of damage. And OC saying you could use it very well or he could get parried right off the bat and it could be very detrimental to how he plays this. As we're going to flip over and see WBG Spider, T225, and JDG's Xu Zhang in this sort of area by the no alt zone with J Team's action, trying to just play positional right now. Spider bringing out that full staff combo so that he can just hold that ground, make sure nobody comes near him. We're seeing these rain shots and we're hearing them get sent back and forth across the map. And this is where Spider's ult is going to be the one that comes the most in uh, handy here. He also has jabbing we just saw coming out here, holding that angle again with that charge attack from the staff and then using the movement to get around and move as fast as possible. Taking that low ground spot, looks like he's going to be holding that instead of holding up high. He does have a golden katana as well. This could be a huge helper as well as OC Sangyu bringing out that golden jade for the staff as well holding that angle. Everybody knows he's got it now because everyone can see him throwing it as Wolves Kai Bao still in this game as well. We do have six players left on the board with four minutes and 38 seconds to go. Circle five is closing onto circle six right now as Kai Bao charging up that full sword. That is a dangerous weapon when in the hands of any of these players. And we all know the pole sword hurts, man. The pole sword. Oh, and he's got the overcomer. Oh my goodness, we're seeing a little bit of horse action coming around from Kaibao. <laughs> One of the best jades in the game, in my opinion. Like, Overcomer is very, very interesting. It's very, very easy to be parried when you're using that Overcomer because every single stage of it is parryable. But if you can catch a player off here in the end game and just send them flying into that final zone, it's absolutely massive. Zhang Yu, though, really set up oh, very strong right now. That Merciless Havoc's going to allow him to buy so much space if he's able to connect up to anybody with that that merciless havoc will absolutely send you a bonkers distance in terms of how far you can just get sent flying into the zone and then it'll also lock you down in the zone where you can't just you have to like face check it right you have to run into it if somebody has it because you've got to get out of these final zone ticks because zone six here hurts a lot and we're gonna be zone seven in the next 50 seconds so none of these players can afford to be in that zone for long and if you've got to run it face down through Zhang Yu's Merciless Havoc there's no way you're getting back into that zone alive and we see all these players look he has more space than anybody else nobody wants to deal with that Merciless Havoc whatsoever he can just go up on that pole hold the space move when he needs to WBG Spider goes so low here and J Team's action more than happy to just capitalize it unfortunately Fortunately, or no, was that uh, Spider who goes out? A spider went out. Action came away with yeah. the kill. Yeah, absolutely crazy to see WBG Spider just go out like that it, with almost no fight whatsoever. That's not typical of Spider when he gets into these final zones, but unfortunately, it is typical to see Spider when he plays uh, low and slow like this, when he doesn't get those early eliminations. 
to not have a great game. We're going to see J-Team's action continuing to make use of that ult where he can. He's going to find another grab, this time on to OC Zhang Yus and Zhang Yu flying. Now, action though, so very low. He's going to be the attention of everybody in this lobby. The grapple comes through. Kai Bao looks to try to clean it up. We're going to see J-Team pick up the parry. Kai Bao looking to pick up the damage. And oh my goodness, there it is. Wolves Kai Bao with his fifth elimination picks up J-Team's action. And Kai Bao really coming alive yet again here in game number four. You know, he gets eliminated early last game. Says, nah, I'm coming back. I'm coming in loud and proud this game. And sure he does. He picks up four early eliminations. And now here we are in the final moments of the game. And he's looking to pick up more. Top four players here. Five eliminations under his belt. All he's got to do is make maybe one more placement. And he will easily be walking away our MVP for the game. Zhang Yu so low. And Kai Bao looking to not only take placement, but pick up another elimination here. He sees how low Zhang Yu is. He's going to come in with the armor cover. Does a ton of damage. Zhang Yu fortunately able to use that teleport to keep from getting knocked in the zone too heavily by it. Has got to teleport back. Everybody in the lobby trying to pick up this elimination. Kai Bao swapping the low, trying to make the shots. Isn't able to connect. Zhang Yu will go down as Wolves. Kai Bao does find the bow shot. He goes to six eliminations. And now in the top three, Kai Bao takes control of this lobby even more. Now it's just JDG's two Zhang going head to head here with T225, both of them too busy paying attention to each other. Kai Bao can easily find some setup here. He needs to find one hit here onto Chu Zhang. He's not quite able to find it just yet. Chu Zhang gonna go airborne, turning his attention to T25. He wants to pick up the elimination, but no! Kai Bao picks it up! Oh my goodness, T225 here in the ultimate. Kai Bao, no, hardly any ult charge left here. Trying not to give the neutral up to T225. T225 though with the armor advantage here. will find quite a bit of damage. Finds that neutral advantage. Kai Bao, no place to go. Unfortunately, he does get eliminated, but he takes the second place finish with seven eliminations. Rose Kai Bao walks away with